Hey what's up guys, this is Jack Tiong and welcome back to the 5th episode of Java Tutorial Video. In the previous episode, we have learned about the Java operators and we have also looked into the 7 different categories of operators that are being offered by Java. Now in this episode, we are going to learn about Java comments, which is a very important topic but tend to be neglected. With that being said, let's get started. First thing first, what is a Java comment? Java comments are basically the statements in your source code that will be ignored and will not be executed by the compiler. Now you might want to ask if it's not being executed by the system, why do we even need to bother? Well, Java commands are usually being used for two different purposes. We use command to provide additional information or explanation about some certain part of your program, such as methods, classes, variables, interface, and any other relevant statements. By doing so, we'll actually help the person reading the code, including you yourself, to better understand the functionality of the program. Other than that, we can use it to hide some parts of the program as well. And this is extremely useful if you would like to hide a feature of your program from the user. There are basically three different types of Java commands which includes single line command, multi-line command, as well as the documentation command. Single line command is the most basic form of command that is available in Java. All you need to do to have a single line command in your program is to hit on the slash key twice. And the compiler will basically ignore the statement after the two forward slashes up to the end of the line. Other than the single line command, Java also provides us with another command type called multi-line command that allows us to have commands in multiple lines. The multi-line command starts with a forward slash followed by an asterisk and ends with an asterisk followed by a forward slash. And the compiler will basically ignore all the statements in between. Now if you happen to see something like this, don't get confused. It is just another form of multi-line command, as the compiler will still ignore everything within the command block. Also, please do take note that we can't have nested multi-line in Java, and if we do so, the compiler will throw a syntax error that looks something like this. Last but not least, the documentation commands, also known as the dot command, look more or less the same as the multi-line command. It begins with a forward slash, but this time with two asterisks, and it ends with an asterisk followed by a forward slash. Now to include the documentation command in Eclipse, all we need to do is to type forward slash and followed by two asterisks and press enter. That's it! Easy, huh? The documentation command is in fact a very special command because it can be used to generate an external documentation about your source code via a documentation generator called Javadoc. Javadoc is basically a tool that comes together with JDK and it is being used to generate Java code documentation in HTML format from the Java source code. Now I'm going to show you guys a quick example on how we can actually generate the document via Javadoc in Eclipse. As you can see here, I have already written some documentation comments to describe both the class as well as the methods. Just in case if you didn't notice, these keywords with alias as a prefix are what we call the javadoc tags, which basically allows the javadoc to better categorize and display the information. Alright, now simply head over to project and click on the generate javadoc option. Now if you have never used javadoc in Eclipse before, you might need to configure the javadoc command by specifying the path to your javadoc.exe file which usually can be found in the JDK bin folder. There are also a bunch of other options that you can configure. For example, you can choose to create javadoc based on the level of visibility to specify the location where you want to save the HTML file and whole lot more. But in this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave everything as is and click on the finish button. Alright, once you're done with that, you can then view the document by opening the generated HTML file with your favorite browser, and it should look something like this. That's it guys, we have learned about Java commands which are basically the statements that will be ignored by the compiler. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you liked the video, be sure to hit on the like button, share it to your friends, and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.